All right, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Ingram. This is Captain Jack. And we are the Mind Crafters, or some of them anyway. And uh, we are here in front of the Overboard. And we're going to um, go through the first of our AE, which is the Applied Energistics mod. It's an awesome mod. It's something that you've seen maybe in our base walkthrough that we just put out. And we are going to show you how to get started with that today. All right, here we go. Advanced Energetics Part 1. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, this time we're really at part one. Getting started. That's what part one means. Whoop. All right, here we go. The main component of applied energetics is quartz, and it comes in three different forms. You're going to get raw quartz. Uh, that's going to be pumped in through what, a quarry? Yeah, that's the best way to get it. And if you uh, if you have a base that's uh, already been established, if you've been exploring already in your world, quartz will not generate in those chunks. So you're going to need to basically hook up your jetpack, hook up your quantum legs, and uh, and run as far as, and fast as you can, and put a quartz um, put a quarry. put a quarry up rather. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then you'll get quartz. And if you have a trouble finding it, if you find like fissures or cave networks or whatever in the ground you can look for that I'll try and get really close to it so you can see oh there's a uh, big ones over here this is what it looks like in the ground um, and if you want to just like run around until you find those then you can uh, you can start playing with AE yeah just throw an ender chest out there and it'll pump right in no matter how far away it is what yeah cuz they're boss like that alright quartz crystal and quartz dust two things that can be turned into each other basically you can go from quartz to dust or from dust to quartz um, if you have no electricity, if you're in the Stone Ages, you can use the quartz grindstone along with the wooden crank. And we can take a little bit of quartz, which is, in, yeah, here we go. You got some? Nope, you do. So just put it in there. And I just Oh, this is low tech. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I got to crank it. Let me get all on this here. Work it, man. Work it. Work it on Don't it. Don't look what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, you put a block of uh, quartz oh crystal goodness. inside there, and when you grind it, you'll notice. I'm not noticing anything. That's not doing anything. <laughs> because. What did you mess up? What's going on? Oh, there it is. It just takes a really long oh, time. Oh, man. You have That's to horrible. grind this thing for a really long time. Okay. This and is kind of prehistoric. We never uh, had to do this because we had electronics. <laughs> But yeah, and okay. one one uh, ore looks like it makes ten dust. The captain, so this is the a, captain this is, is bad at swapping at those, the poop. Deck. I know. You get some muscles doing that thing. <laughs> if you're a weakling and you sit and play Minecraft all day, just come. Uh, you have one finger at least that's really exercised. All right, so that'll grind the quartz into quartz into quartz dust. dust. And now, if we want to get this into quartz crystals, what do we use? We use the compressor. I think it's a 4 to 1 ratio, right? Something like that. And that will give you four of these will turn into one of these in a compressor. It's a little more advanced. And then if you take a macerator um, and you slap a quartz crystal in it, it'll turn into quartz dust. And you'll need both of them for the different components that we're going to make. All right, uh, the main tool that Applied Energetics adds into Take It Light, or into its own mod pack, I guess, is the quartz wrench, and this can be interchangeable with the Omni... Um, the prototype Omni pro wrench. Prototype Omni wrench, right. Um, and you're going to use this to change the orientation of level emitters and import and export thingy-mabobbers that we'll talk about in the next tutorial. Um, this is how you make it. It is a technical term. <laughs> the captain always uses technical terms. <laughs> so it's five quartz crystals in an X pattern gives you your wrench. And oh, we should probably do the wooden crank. It's just a bunch of sticks. And the quartz grindstone that you ram your crank into is stone <laughs> and cobblestone and quartz dust. So it's kind of like a macerator and a wood gear. And the most complicated part of getting started is going to be building your ME controller. And to build your ME controller, you're going to have to have, uh, unfortunately, these assembly tables and lasers. And you will have some, you will need to have some type of power established before you get these ready to go. We have redstone energy cells um, with a remote power core that I don't know works. Yes, it does. Uh, and it's hooked up to these things. 
and you're going to need a redstone diamond chipset and that's going to be some redstone and a diamond and I'll get these and I'll put them in here there we go oh yeah there we go and that's making the redstone diamond chipset and it takes a long time to make these things and if we open this little window we can see it needs 80,000 millijoules luckily you only have to make one controller um, but get used to this. You might want to automate this somehow. We'll show you later how to automate it um, using AE, but that doesn't do you any good until you get AE. So um, All right, so once you have your wrench, uh, once you have your crank and grindstone, and hopefully you don't need that and you'll have a compressor and macerator, but once you get your ME controller, you're going to place it down like a block, and it's going to look like this here. Now, the ME controller is going to require power of some sort. It can either take uh, Buildcraft's MJ or IC2's um, EU, Yep. And we have it hooked up to a low voltage solar array right now. Now you can use high voltage. Um, I'm not sure if it can take extreme voltage or not. We um, haven't tried it. We hooked it up to a low voltage solar array just to show you that it will still maintain <laughs> power. That if you have a very basic system and you have very basic power needs or demands or whatever you have in your base, it's still going to supply the system. And you can see inside how much of the applied energistics power that it's using. And right now we're using six units per tick. Now what's the conversion rate on that? It's depending on the mod you use, and there's um, support for IC2 and also any of the Buildcraft mods. You have two energy units per one EU. So for this guy right here, he's only using six energy units. So he would only be using three EU per tick. If you were using 100, as your network gets larger, then you're looking at 50 EU per tick. And the conversion ratio for Buildcraft, or MJ power, is 5 to 1. So 100 units in this controller actually yields, or actually is uh, equivalent to 20 millijoules per tick of Buildcraft power. So it's, it's not too bad. You can get pretty elaborate systems um, that aren't, aren't very draining. And this will tell you how many pieces of each of the, the machines in this mod are attached to it. And if we attach this uh, controller... To the so top here. It's an ME or access uh, it's terminal. A terminal. You can see in there that we have one connected to the network. And you'll also notice um, power is draining from the controller because we have so little power going in. So we're missing one bar there. Yep. And that if you place that block directly on top of the con controller, just like Bluetricity, it will conduct amongst its own mod items. And that is going to account for cables, any of the uh, ME blocks. We'll get into all that later, but keep in mind. Um, if they're touching, they'll share power, and that's really awesome. You only need to ever power your processor or your uh, controller, and it will share its power with the rest of the ME network. Um, like we said earlier, if you don't have any chunks that have quartz loaded into them yet because you've been in the world for a long time and you've been in the world before the update, you're just going to want to go really far, set up some quarries, and start mining some quartz, and that's what we did. Yarg. All right, this thing's uh, <laughs> still not done still making not this done. thing. Oh. Is the the more lasers that you have attached to this, the faster it'll go. These things yeah. are real pain to make, though. So, so it's not too bad. Um, the uh, requirements to get this network started are not really that bad. It's only iron. Your biggest expense is going to come from your diamond chipset, which is just requires one diamond, despite the stacks that Captain put in here. <laughs> um, it's really not too bad, and it's something that you can get started with pretty well low tech. As we showed, you have the LV solar array, and that's actually keeping this going. All right, so that's it for part one. Look for part two after this video. Thanks for watching, and stay poised. Woo.